Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna. Today I'm coming to you with my Crafty Goals 2024. I joined in on the hashtag Crafty Goals 2024 along with the collaborators here on this list. And if you just type in hashtag Crafty Goals 2024, it will bring one of them up or all of them up. And you can go to one and then you can actually click on their links. So that's the list of collaborators. There's one that started the Crafty Goals 2024. And let me go ahead and go over again what my goals I have in mind for. This is kind of for my year so far. I want to have my teacher gifts ready for Christmas. Way ahead of time. I have six of them that I get ready for. Um, I also want to have my Elf on Shelf done. I do it for my granddaughter. I did it for my grandsons. And she's five. She's eight years younger. So she's just getting her chance to have all this one. And then also the Christmas countdown. I want those all done by October. And I plan on exceeding that and getting it done a lot sooner. I want to go through all my Christmas craft stash. I have a minimum of eight or nine totes downstairs that I got to go through and then I'm going to use those to create teacher gifts or other gifts for people or just create. So I also want to use my Cricut and my brother scan and cut more. I have used my Cricut a lot in the last couple of weeks. I started later in January with my my book and uh, there is a tutorial or walkthrough on, on my book. So if you look in my videos, I also created these cards. This is for her classroom for 24 or approximately 24 students is what they usually have. So that's what I'm going to work on is for 24 students. And if I have to adjust later on, I can do that. So this is just a list of some of the ideas I get for their things. I have not started on this yet. I'm working on the teacher ones. So um, on this card is 12 tags each and six each Christmas cards that I want to create. This month I have created four 12 tags each and I have created six of the cards. So my monthly goal was to have two card tutorials. I had four. Uh, at least two Christmas projects. All of my stuff that I worked on this month was Christmas projects. Um, Christmas countdown for 2024. I have seven of them ready. Elf on the shelf setups. I have two ready and smash my scraps. I used a, a lot of scraps when I could to create the different cards and tags. I also want to, I have tons and tons of eight and a half by 11 paper packs like from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's. 65 pound weight and what seemed to have happened was I would buy it and then it would get stored away where I couldn't see it and then I would buy it again thinking I needed it so I have multiple packs of the same mixed colors and I want to go through those and with these cards and stuff I was able to to do that and I got to keep working away at it I want to get down to a manageable amount I don't need a ton of of it so uh, also wanted to destash. I did get a few things ready to destash. I have not listed them yet, but I will get to that this month. So for January, I did my craft room video tour. I did my crafty goals, uh, seven out of 24 countdown, two off on the shelf, four card tutorials, four tag tutorials. Uh, cards and tags are my Christmas tutorials. My month, the goals for February so far, are two sets of 12 tags with boxes that will finish my six that I need, two sets of six Christmas cards that will finish my six sets I need, Christmas countdown, Elf on the Shelf, Smash My Scraps, and D-Stash. And I will add, if I need to, other um, items. So again, if you want to join in or just go see what's up, use the hashtag CraftyGoals2024. So for my creations, I created six of these cards and out of my scraps I made the snowflakes, the silver, 
I used all my scraps of silver to create those. And the base for my snowman, those were scraps. And I got them in pinks. Got them in purple. In teal. A red. A green. And a blue. So six of those. And these are 5 by 7 so they'll fit in a 5 by 7 envelope. In addition to that, I created six of this style. This was just cut out with a die. Uh, I used my, I didn't use my Cricut for that. Um, embossing folder. And then these are just uh, cutouts from a authentic Christmas stash that I had. They are, it's older. So I just went through my stash. This one I cut that out like that. And that first one runs in a different direction. All the rest run this way. Again, these are all authentic tags. And I thought they turned out, these turned out cute too. So I'm real happy with the cards so far, these ones. I hope I can get my fingers to work, right? So, and again, these are also five by seven. In addition to that, I made six of these. These I used a die for, and then these are scraps here. So there's six of this style, the slimline card. These ones I created on my Cricut, and this is just a Tim Holtz. I gotta glue that down. Tim Holtz die, and uh, I haven't stamped anything on the interior yet, but I will. So, yep, this one I created on my Cricut, and this one I created on my Cricut. So, if you go to this tutorial, there's in the description box, there is a link to my Cricut where you could also make these. So, six of those, three of each, six of those. And then, in addition, these were the scraps off, off of these ones. So, I created six smaller cards. So I will make envelopes for those this month in February. For my tags, I created these cute snowman tags. The snowman was in the Cricut Design Space. Um, I did go in and make it so you didn't have to lay on the blacks all separately. They had it where each black circle is cut out and you lay it on separately. I went in and made it so... It just cuts those circles out and then added a circle of black cardstock in there for you to use to put underneath so much faster and easier. So I did not create the actual tag, but I did create the box to put my tags in. So, and again, there is a video tutorial on these. And if you go in the description box, there will be links to these tags and the boxes if you want to create your own. So I use my Cricut for that. I also use my Cricut for these gnomes. So created the gnome tags. And on the box, I just put a little pom-pom ball there. These tags, these gnomes were not tags, but the gnomes were also in the Cricut design space. I did not create the gnome. However, I did create the box to put the tags in. So that's number two. My third set of tags are little gingerbreads. These are dies, little um, charm dies that I have. So those are not in the Cricut, but the gingerbread comes from the Cricut. Again, I did not create the gingerbread tag, but I did, however, design and create the box to put the tags in. And last but not least, we have the snowflake tags. Uh, this is a Peachy Keen stamp set. So that's the tags. And for the snowflake, I picked out the snowflake, but it had, of course, snowflake designs in the center. I adjusted it to make it so I had a, a solid base in the center to make put the snowman face on there. And I did design and create the box for those tags also. So that is all I've got for this month. I'm very pleased with how things are going. I'm not typically a goals type person, but I thought it would keep me on track and give me incentive to make sure that I tried to meet my goals. 
So again, if you want to join in, it's hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. Thank you for stopping by and think about taking a look at my other videos. I hope uh, all of you and your family are blessed immensely. And until next month, I hope you have a great month. Bye-bye.